so here uh, you can find on the screen also and you see for this batch uh, we are dealing with the 2019 version uh, till last batch we did with 2018 version hmm. uh, but now we'll deal with the 2019 version and why uh, why we are dealing with 19 because you see this software is new for many consultants hmm. an interview point of view when you know on an interview uh, they will take test on directly on software on system hmm. so this software is new and many consult are adopting so they will adopt the latest version so you will find the latest version at the time of interview that is also one reason we used to update this rivet compared with AutoCAD. AutoCAD still we are using 2010 version because in AutoCAD 2D side there is no much difference in the latest version hmm. and interview also many concerns still they are using 2004 or 2010 or 12 version but in case of uh, rivet this latest version practice on latest version is required because when whenever because uh, many companies adopting as a uh, new software now because previously they are not using so for that reason uh, working on the new version is uh, required hmm. <coughs> so in notes is given 2017 but we'll work on 2019 with some additional features even if you know 2016 also there is no not much difference compared with the 19 but if you compare this 12 with the uh, 16 version you'll find number of changes and again 12 if you compare with 2009 version you'll find number of new options in 12 okay but from 16 to 19 just limited uh, updations hmm. so <coughs> this uh, software or this training program will cover four modules okay module one is uh, basic plus HVAC you know HVAC service okay and module two is you see first chapter one two and three which is common for all the services first we'll go for some basics then how to start the project uh, for all the services hmm. then uh, you see until chapter 3 then the model uh, the HVC model will start from chapter 4 planning mechanical system in under that first HVC okay and in that in this this HVC also you'll find the three sections section 1 is load calculation 2 is ducting side air side and 3 is a chill water or hot water pipe side hmm. I divide this HVC into three uh, sections next after this we'll go for module 2 hmm. Uh, module to start from this chapter 7 okay electrical chapter 7 and 8 will cover in module 2 separate service electrical and then module 3 start from chapter 9 which includes plumbing and firefighting both so chapter 9 chapter 10 chapter 11 and chapter 12 is for module 3 plumbing and firefighting combined and module 4 is common for all the services which includes detailing, documentation, dimensions, uh, annotations, and finally end with the families. Hmm. Family means what? Working with the 3D intelligent component. Hmm. So you see, till this uh, chapter 15, we'll complete the project. After that, family is a separate topic. Family means working with the 3D intelligent component. Working with the 3D intelligent component, like component designing. Hmm. So you know this, if you are working in services hmm, like HVAC or any plumbing, fire fighting, we are dealing with what? We are dealing with the system designing, not the component designing, right? Component designing means like piston, connecting rod, any engine components, manufacturing of that component. Hmm. But here we are dealing with what? In the services, we are dealing with the system designing. Hmm. So till chapter 15, we'll talk about the system designing. Hmm. Then we have one more topic that is called families. In families, we'll work with the 3D intelligent components like component designing. Hmm. Huh. That is for architectural side. But if you talk about MEP side, we'll talk about AHU, uh, then electrical panel, diffusers, light fixtures, list of components. So first we'll use that components hmm, in all these modules. And all these components you can find from the Autodesk. Hmm. But if apart from this, if you want any other new component, at that time family uh, creating a family component topic is required hmm. and if you're working in a manufacturing site for example if you get the job in Zamil manufacturing division division or uh, LG or Daikin hmm, manufacturing site so they are asking only for families because they are the manufacturer no? they are dealing with the component hmm. so they ask you to convert their AHU or chiller etc in a rivet component family so that 
they can publish that in their website so that the consultant can download and use okay so if you are working in manufacturing only family topic is enough hmm. but if you are working in the consultant side all this designing system designing is required okay so this family also important out of 10 points in for revit uh two points only for creating component families 20% weightage so that also added okay so this is a oreo so we'll get total four modules okay so let me start with module 1 first basic chapter 1 2 and 3 which is common for all the services and you must spend more time for basics because once you know the concept then only you can start the service okay and apart from this you see additional topic hmm. for odd additional topic hmm. here you'll find you write here uh find out this page additional topic page so today we'll go for the very basics hmm. first we'll learn the file formats you can find out in the next page and this is a very basic uh, question for interview point of view hmm. they may ask what is rvt hmm. rfa so all these are file fi file formats like in autocad dot dot dwg hmm, dot doc forward etc in the same way if you talk about the revit software hmm, the more about the software we we'll discuss but first basics hmm. so here you can find out dot rvt dot rvt is for revit project file and in bracket you can write common for ha huh, common for architectural comma structural and mep are you comfortable with the screen so dekhiye for example before 2012 version jaisa main demo mein bataya tha main before 2012 version uh or up to 2012 version you will find separate version for architect separate version for structural and separate for mep 2012 okay but when they launched 2013 they combine with the same file file format and with the combined version we will get the advantage of decreasing the cost of the license hmm. because one consultant can purchase the combined license can use in different divisions hmm. and till 2019 you can find the combined version and we are dealing with the 2019 so it's a uh, it's include structural architectural and mep services but we'll focus on the mep side in that i'll show you the screen so this rvt is for project file hmm. and remember in revit we are not dealing with the files like autocad we are dealing with the project and with the central file how when we involve in the revit you'll get the idea how to deal with the project and how this user file is linked or connected with the central file etc okay at this level very basic so next option you can find rt rt is for what you can read template file and do you have have the idea about the template file did you use template file in autocad autocad pata hai aapko aapko hmm no Okay anyhow it's not come it's not must uh, autocad is not required to learn revit hmm. but the services the knowledge of services required to learn revit hmm. so i'll give you the idea template file is a file with the settings and can be insert in the project to save the time for example measurement system hmm. for example one project in english system and one more project in sm metric okay so this measurement system and uh, this company logos and basic information you can create a file that file we can call as a template file and this template file can be used in the project file directly to save the time okay but don't worry we have a first exercise creating a template file only so at this level rt is what project template file theek okay. hai we can use in the project but first we'll learn how to create this next if you talk about the family you see revit family file family refers to what here you can write in bracket 3d intelligent component 3d intelligent component and why we used to call family because you see for example if you talk about diffuser we have different sizes of diffuser so that we can call as a diffuser family similarly if you talk about ahu you will find different capacities of ahu so that we can call as a hu family so that in 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 general we used to call that a family like electrical components uh, electrical light fixtures we have different types of electrical light fixture all the electrical light fixture comes under lighting fixture family okay so that's the reason we used to call family 
but this refers to 3d intelligent component 3d component means you can understand hmm. that with x y and z axis like in autocad also if you know hmm. or else you know 3d component you see all are 3d component hmm. this x this y hmm. and we can consider this z okay or this is z x y hmm. so three dimension components you know but why we are calling 3d intelligent component because in Revit, we are not just dealing with the 3D component, we are dealing with the 3D intelligent component. So, intelligent component means the component will have all the parameters like actual component. For example, if I use duct hmm, in Revit, so we are not going to draw the duct in Revit like AutoCAD. We are going to create the duct in Revit. Hmm. And that duct, duct comes under again 3D intelligent component. And once you create the duct, and when you click that in the properties, you can find out the size dimensions means the dimension then flow rate cfm friction uh, then uh, velocity all the parameter like the actual component so a 3d component with the parameters like actual component that we used to call as 3d intelligent component hmm. but one more point to discuss 3d intelligent comp component means you'll find the connector i'll show you the connector when we use in the project hmm yes we have to input but we'll get default we'll get all the parameter with the default values that will update as per our design requirement hmm. but don't worry how to update how to deal with is the next level at this level just understand why we used to call 3d intelligent component intelligent component because that component have all the parameters like actual component and it is possible to edit no doubt as per the requirement and uh, <coughs> with the connector hmm. Connector I'll show you on the screen when I use the component and that connector is important because in the connector only you'll find all the parameters and how to update that parameter how to create that parameter that also we we'll discuss in families the last topic creating families but initially for model 1 2 and 3 we'll use the families from the Autodesk software and Autodesk offer all the component almost all the components for all the services in the latest version you can find more components compared with the previous version so regularly they are updating the components even the manufacturers also they are offering their equipments in rfa file so what is rfa file this is a rivet family format okay when you get the rfa file from say daikin a chiller of rfa file from daikin means that directly we can import in the project and that is a 3d intelligent component with all the parameter which which match with the manufacturer's standard hmm, like model right like model the flow rate if it is a chiller the flow rate, the actual flow rate as per the model uh, the size co connector size friction everything like the uh, like the actual component which we are going to install on the side but don't worry the more about the three digital component you'll get the idea when we use that component in the project okay similarly we have a dot rft in order to create a new component hmm, that is dot rfa file we can use rft means rivet family template file in order to create the new project we can use rte file rte file is a template file for the project similarly the template file for the for creating the 3d intelligent component is dot rft hmm. again this consists of the basic settings which is required to start creating the 3d intelligent component basic settings in that to save the time okay so these are the full four file format and very basic and may I ask in interview very very basic okay Mm -hmm. yeah is a main not central file it's a project file again the central file also dot rvt only on all, all the users also dot rvt and all the project file project file means dot rvt but in order to create that project file we require this rt that we are going to insert in the project file only one time okay that is a template file and 3d com if you are making only 3d component that is rfa but in order to create that 3d component uh, that is uh, rfa format we are using rft the template of that hmm. but don't worry we'll discuss all this at this level very basic hmm. very very basic okay you see once you know all this then the work will be easy okay so easily kya karenge? starting ek do classes mein detail mein slowly jayenge. because you, which is common for all the services because once the base is strong then it will be easy and remember if you know one service the tools are many tools are common for other services but service is different for example if you talk if you talk about this hvc piping we are using some tools for hvc piping the same tools can be used for plumbing and firefighting piping also 
but service is different metal is different component is different but tools are same okay so that's the reason focus more on the basic chapter 1 2 3 and module 1 once we complete that other model will be more models will be easy or the service will be easy okay and if you don't know this electrical plumbing firefighting don't worry before starting the service i'll send you one video for the service suppose as a mechanical many people know don't know electrical hmm. so we'll provide you class one two three of electrical module to get the basics means we'll not provide in the class we'll send you the video which is recorded from uh, electrical faculty hmm. not youtube video our own electrical faculty similarly if you don't know plumbing we'll provide you two videos of plumbing to cover the basics about the fixtures and all and if you don't know firefighting again we'll provide you the three videos for firefighting basics hmm. so that you can involve in revit but at least you should know as a mechanical the HVC service and I suppose already you know. Okay.